In May 1940, the armed forces of Germany annihilated the armies of England and France. Now, England stood alone against the entire force of Nazi Germany. In order to conquer England, the German Luftwaffe would have to knock out the Royal Air Force, thus the Battle of Britain. In this battle, the Royal Air Force, against great odds, stood up to the power of the German Luftwaffe and brought them to a standstill. In this battle, seven Americans took part, actually flew for the Royal Air Force. Three of them were the initial cadre of 71 Eagle Squadron, Shorty Keogh, Andy Mamadoff, and Red Tobin, flew for the RAF during the Battle of Britain and actually shot down German planes. They became the founding fathers of the 4th Fighter Wing. Once a year, we celebrate the Battle of Britain because of our ties to the Royal Air Force. As far as I know, we are the only American wing that actually does that. Now, one of the key components of the celebration of the Battle of Britain is the burning of the pianos. And people always ask, well, why? Why, why is that a tradition in the Royal Air Force? I've researched this and I've seen several explanations, but I'm going to boil it down to what I consider the two best explanations. The first was that in World War I, there weren't that many British pilots, so of course they're sort of the upper crust. Well, in World War II, they needed thousands of pilots, so they weren't so much the upper crust anymore, but still there was this belief in England that in order to be an officer, you had to also be a gentleman. Well, what do gentlemen do? Well, of course, they play the piano. So it was insisted upon that British officers who were flying in the Royal Air Force take piano lessons. Now imagine going up every day to face the Germans in a life or death struggle and then coming back in the evening and having to take piano lessons. Well, one of the Royal Air Force bases was bombed by the Germans and the building where the piano was kept, the, basically the uh, officers club, burned to the ground. Well the good news is the piano was in the building and the piano burned to the ground. So that officer communicated to other squadrons in the Royal Air Force and said, hey guess what guys, I don't have to take piano lessons anymore because I don't have a piano. Whereupon the other officers dragged the pianos outside the building and set them on fire. Now the story that I believe is the actual origin of the piano burning tradition happened during World War II where there was a pilot in one of the squadrons who just happened to be an excellent piano player. So at the end of the day when they licked their wounds and counted their losses they would sit around in the club and he would beautifully play the piano and it gave them the opportunity to unwind and sort of forget about the horrors of the day. Well as fate would have it one day this pilot went up to fight the Germans and never came back. He was killed in action. That evening the officers and pilots sat around feeling the sorrow of losing their comrade and also no more piano playing. So they sat around just moping and looking at the piano and finally the squadron commander just looked at the men and looked at the piano and he said, drag the damn thing outside and burn it. And that's what they did. So to the best of my knowledge, that's the origin of the piano burning tradition and that's why we celebrate the Battle of Britain here at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base.